My name is Matty and you're watching a Buell School video. A man who led police on a vehicle chase and then tried to flee after crashing ran into a daycare center but was caught as he leaped into an area where young children were playing. A body cam video released by police shows the pursuit, which occurred on November 2nd. The chase started when a police officer spotted the suspect who was wanted for felonious assault and tried to pull his vehicle over. The suspect instead sped off. The suspect ended up crashing into another vehicle, but he then began running from officers. During the foot pursuit, he managed to force his way through the rear door of a daycare center as a worker was walking back inside. Officers were able to follow the man into the daycare center and chase him through a hallway. The video shows an officer attempting to use a taser and workers can be heard screaming at the commotion. The man runs into a room and jumps into a box in area where two young children are playing. Workers can be heard yelling, oh my god, oh my god, as officers urge them to get the kids out of the room. Children also can be heard crying as police handcuff the man in the boxed in area. Let's take a look at the commotion as it unfolds. Got him inside the building. I don't have nothing. What am I hitting him up with? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 me in the mouth. That's what you're going to get here to this sentence. You got the water. Okay. You got to be ashamed of yourself. 61 we're okay. Kids are all, all the kids are out. He threw a gun. You want to point your finger at me? Stop that. You told me you were going to. Don't yell at me. No, screw you. Get up out of here. Ah! Radio, we're going to need a squad over here. Just bring, hey, bring him out, bring him out here and just set him down. Just sit, sit him down. Hey, and uh, go inside, get the information from the girls that were in there, the kids' ages, and all that other stuff. I did fall. When I tasered you. The man was identified as 39-year-old Lammer Mitchell. Mitchell's rap sheet also goes back to at least 2008 and includes aggravated burglary and felonious assault. He was also convicted of aggravated arson in 2015 and sentenced to four years in prison after setting his girlfriend's house on fire when she told police he assaulted her. Last year, Mitchell was involved in a two-hour SWAT standoff in which he reportedly threatened to kill police. He was wanted on a felony escape charge, eventually surrendered, and was sentenced to six months in prison. Mitchell is currently in custody for the incident in today's video and is being held on a $250,000 bond. Again, this has been a Buell School video. Please subscribe if you can. I hope you enjoyed this story along with my narration. If not, please suck my-